So Daniel, we know the power of LinkedIn and I feel that you are kind of a guru in that field. So I'm going to ask you a few more questions in LinkedIn area. So it's important for job seekers to have a good LinkedIn profile, optimize LinkedIn from top to bottom, from banner, headliner, picture, and about section before applying for a job. So can you talk about a little bit that part before we go to the next part of the question? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, you know, I, I'm willing to argue that your LinkedIn profile is more important than your resume because mm -hmm. your LinkedIn profile will get seen more than your resume. Yes. Right. Because your resume is only seen to the companies that you're applying to. Your LinkedIn profile is public and is seen by everyone, especially yeah. if you're engaging and commenting and all and doing all this mm -hmm. stuff. So to me, if you're spending 10 hours on your resume, you should be spending 11 hours on your LinkedIn profile mm -hmm. and optimizing it and full it really go through it. And, you know, LinkedIn does a good job at like giving you those prompts to make an all-star profile, yeah. good header, good picture, good banner, good, you know, good about me section that really goes and, and, and it's your elevator speech that you can really dive into your present, past and future. Uh, really have a really good experience section with as many bullet points, if not more bullet points than when you have in your resume, add pictures, add your credibility, get recommendations. Yes. Just, your, the beautiful thing about your LinkedIn is that it's your resume with pictures with more social proof and it's more than one page. Yeah. So let me start asking you a few questions if you can answer it uh, very directly. So in your headline, what should students put in the headline section? I love when students put, like if, again, aspiring mechanical engineer and then right after highlighting the top technical skills that are required for the job. Okay. So like if I go aspiring software engineer and then they go put Python, C++ mm -hmm. or, you know, and the programming language that they know, I think that's a really killer, uh, killer he uh, headline because it allows it to be searchable by the recruiters. Yes. Um, and so that's what I like. Don't put student at the university. Yeah. Of Central Florida, like I agree. What about the banner? Can they use Canva and customize it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Canva is a great way to customize it. Again, that's a great real estate that's most of the time misused. You you don't need to put a picture of your university. It's like the most common banner I see in students. Yeah. I already know where you went to school. It says yeah. it on your education. It says it on the right hand side. Yeah, I don't need to see a banner of the university. Uh, put a picture. Uh, you know, on from Canva. Add some of the technical skills again. Okay. You know, have a call to action. Really utilize that to to let your personality shine. Yeah. Because what you want is that your personality is going to attract the right companies and also have the companies that are not a good fit from you like go back away. So like, so I actually encourage you to use your LinkedIn and, and, and be personable so that it attracts the right recruiters and the right company and the right culture that, that that's better fit for you. And what about the about section? I know that it's an area that they can tell their story, they can tell their accomplishment, but is there any specific formula? Is there anything specific that you recommend that students should mention? Yeah, I love the just a simple framework of present, past, and future. So mm -hmm. present, where are you? Uh, you know, Software engineer student at the university. Like first, it would be a hook. So let me rephrase yes. that. A hook, something yeah. that makes me want to read it. So like, you know, I fell in love with coding when I was nine years old. When I started playing X, Y, and Z. Tell your story. Why did yeah. you do that? Mm -hmm. Then present. Like I'm a student. This is the university. Here's when I graduate. Mm -hmm. Past. What past experiences has prepared you for the job that you aspire to have? What internships? What projects? What have you done that? It's going to make you to be a good software engineer yeah. for Google. Mm -hmm. And then future, where do you see yourself in the future? Like, you know, I'm looking for an organization where I can grow, develop, make an impact uh, in, a, in a, like, you know, talk about the industry. And I think that's a really good framework. Okay. Those are great tips, uh, Daniel. I appreciate that. So now that the students have done the banner, the headliner about section, is there any specific strategy in your mind in terms of, how to uh, search for a job. So I tell the students that I'm helping identify maybe 10 to 20 companies that you want to work while you're graduating. Follow them uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, interact with their content. Find someone that's working there, not the recruiter or the hiring manager because they are busy bombarding. Maybe find someone who has the similar job title that you want to work and build a relationship with them. Is there any other things that you recommend to students to do? Yeah, I follow, as a, I'm all about frameworks, right? I think about this as a 10-5-1 rule. Okay. So 
quality over quantity when you're applying. So I say, I tell our mentees, apply to 10 companies a week, quality mm -hmm. applications. For every application that you do, find five people that work in the department that you apply to. Yes. And you're right. I love connecting with people who have the same job title than you. Yes. And hopefully they've only been there for less than a year mm -hmm. because they're more likely to reply. They've went through the interview process recently and they're eager to share their experience in the company because yes. they were in your shoes not too long ago. So they yes. understand, they feel, it. you know, when someone's been with the company for a long time, you forget what it looks you like. Forget. Yeah. Yeah. What it looks like to look for a job. Yes. And then one of those five conversations should turn into a referrals. Yeah. So 10 applications, five connections per applications, one referral. So that means 50 new networking messages a week, right? So it's five times 10 yeah. should lead to five referrals. And that should give you about one to two interviews a week um, if you do this correctly. Mm -hmm. Those are great tips, and thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Daniel.